This year, a diverse group of students volunteered to undertake a STEM project to design, build, and deliver a product for a community client. Not only was the project student-led, but it was a real-world project for a real client. The project is called Tarablang Time. The aim of the project is to bring the dreaming of the Tarablang Bunda to young people in an interactive and engaging medium to help keep and build the culture and heritage of our local area. The students interviewed the clients to elicit the project requirements. They put together a project proposal, which they presented to the clients. And today, they are delivering a fully functional solution in the form of a gaming console. Before starting on the project, we needed to talk to the clients, learn what is important to them and design a solution to match their needs. The team undertook a requirements gathering interview and built a proposal which we presented, asked for feedback and permission to start building the solution. There were some suggestions and requirements that we documented. Once we had the plan, we, had to co we needed to coordinate our coding team, not to mention working with our graphics design team and the engineering team to make sure we're all on track and working together. By the end of the project, we have written over 80 code files, each ranging from 20 to 100 lines of code, so it was quite a large undertaking. To make the artwork as authentic as possible, we took the information from the clients as well as undertaking researching. The clothing of Koppel, for instance, was originally based on clothing that we thought was reflective of the local area. But during the proposal, the client told us that the skins should show the colour of the grey kangaroo and not the red kangaroo that we based our colour palette on. We also had to keep in mind the constraints of the game. And for the programmers, we were often limited in the number of pixels we could use for characters. And we were also trying to keep the retro gaming style that was chosen for the application and gaming unit. The console is based off of the Talibalang People's Project's totems, the seawater turtle. It is comprised of both 3D printed parts and laser cut parts. Inside our shell we have housed the Raspberry Pi 4. It contains the code coding for all the games and storylines. The base is made out of laser cut plywood, which is all designed and 3D modelled in Inventor. Finally, before declaring the system finished and ready to go, we wanted to make sure we were providing an evidence-based evaluation. An early childhood educator at Acorn Child Care Centre agreed to run user testing with their preschool class. The feedback was overwhelmingly positive. The observations included that the children loved the music and made the game exciting. The game was easy for the children to navigate with little to no support required from an adult. And it was fun. The game encouraged the children to engage in conversation about our Indigenous culture. The game had purpose. Not only were the children learning about culture, but they were also using and developing their fine motor skills, hand-eye coordination and social skills. It was a fast-paced and engaging application which kept the children interested in the storyline and in the games.